This is Snapshot. I'm glad you're able to come along. One of our first stops, visiting our state parks in PA. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. On the other videos that we checked, they didn't talk about this hill. When you come in, this is to the campsite. There's no big old sign that says this way for camp. Of course, you have different trails, but here, you pull in your camp and you want to step on it, even though it says 15, you might want to give it a little bit of extra power, because this hill will catch you if you go up and slow. Not long, but this is the way you get to the campground. And another thing they don't talk about, each section that we're going to show you on the video is a separate from the campground. You have the campground up here on the mountain. Down below, you have the pool. Over to the left, you have the boat launch. So you do have to walk or drive to get to each section. This is the little ranger style, little booth. Uh, you buy your wood, or when you come in, they'll have your thing posted here if you had already made reservations. And you got another little hill to go up here. This little recreation center. These are the rustic cabins that you can rent. There's only three of them. And like I said, they're rustic. They ain't got no plumbing in them. You would have to use the facilities here at the place. Which is right here. Which it's is right next to it. Very, and very clean. <clears throat> that way will be to the uh, dump station, waste station, whatever you want to call it. Dump station. Dump station, also bathrooms. And here starts the campground. This is here is the uh, what do you call the host. The host is campground there. host. And then you have on both sides different sites. They go to Pearl. Yeah. So we're gonna take you a little ride around the campsite. Now it says it has thirty something different campsites and about five tent sites. But if you see on both sides, there are campsites. Even have a couple of pull throughs. It is literally snowing up here. And what's it what month is this? April. April what? 18th. 18th. And it's actually snowing up here. You see the different campsites. We love campsite number one. It's nice and roomy. Look at this on both sides. Both sides, they got campgrounds all over the place. It's practically empty, but come uh, weekend. weekend or when the season start, they say it's kind of hard to get in here, it's packed. They had a little problem with the water, so they're telling everybody to Fill up at the way station, by the way station and bathroom before you get to your site. A lot of them are kind of small, so you mm -hmm. want to let them know right away what kind of uh, camper you have. Well, when we did it, we did it online, and on the site, it actually tells you what size. Uh, to use. Well, the, the length, length of length the. Of the uh, rig. The max of the rig that you can use for the, in that site. Right. So just check that out and make sure you pick the right one. Because they don't have a lot for large campers. And you see everything is just in this little loop. Now this is the camp area. Down below is the pool, fishing, boat launching. It's only about a mile down the road. I don't even think that long, but you got that hill to tend with. Park range. 
strangers we met. Lovely people. Polite, nice, helpful, friendly. All the adjectives. All the adjectives <laughs> that you can ask for that you would want. And we see we got the pearl. The pearl is 32 Two. feet long. And she fit in here and you can park two or three uh, two cars with it. So it's a nice sight. I like the sight one. <laughs> this will be the one I look for every time I come. And we just got neighbors. We just got neighbors that just came in today. Yep. We are going to different campgrounds, so we only stay here for a couple of days and then we're moving on to the next day park. So stay tuned. So this is what it looks like inside the bathhouse. You see that was the um, handicapped shower. And this is a regular shower. They have two regular showers, one handicap, one handicap stall, and like three other regular stalls. Um, this is a newer building and um, it was clean. They did say that the water pressure isn't that great, but hey, something's better than nothing. <clears throat> Small little beautiful town. This is the little town of Newport, PA. Uh, we figured we'll take a ride in town. The campground host and also Ranger Wilson told us about a little gym that they have in town. So we figured we'll go and check it out. They also told us that on Mondays, mostly all the stores are closed. So just the FYI for you all. It's a Monday, right after the holiday. Told us most things would be closed. But she was right. Oh yes, and another tidbit, you see that two hour parking sign there. When you there and you park, make sure that you're only there for two hours because if not, they will definitely ticket you. And as you walk around, you'll see these little signs and they just tell you about the history of the town. Camping area. 
picnicking. Picnic area, rather, excuse me. And earlier they told you that they had the uh, picnic grounds and stuff first, and then brought the camp out later. So they were really focusing on family picnics for the day and stuff like that. So they really kept it up and and this is the pool area. It's to the right of the lake. And you can see that big slide they have there. It's not open yet because it's only April. But once it is, I know a lot of people's going to be over there. A lot of kids. They're going to have fun. It's the cleanliness of it, the organization of it, and this all-out beauty. Another section here. Proceed to the route. Proceed to the route. This one the old oh, history. Proceed to the route. I'm looking at the walking bridge. Mm -hmm. Think of the trail. Proceed to the route. Okay, we'll be doing that. Proceed to the route. Oh, this is boat launch. Look at this. If you have electric cars, you don't have to worry because they actually have charging stations. They're up to date. Believe it or not, it's actually snowing out here. Uh, this is the uh, one of the main areas. You have a playground. I, I forget what they call these things, but they have the entertainments and shows and bathrooms. And it leads off to two, three different trails that you can catch from here. Huge parking lot to park your cars. And up further is the boat launch. The place is nice. It is separated into different areas. You have the camp area. You have the pool area. Then you have this little area over here. And they have tons of uh, little picnic tables and grills all over the park. Trails and bridges. And dogs. <laughs> I'm telling you, the other parks are going to be hard to beat. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look 
Man, we can do four or five hours of video of this place. That's how nice it is. How you doing today? Thanks, how are you? Okay. Enjoy your walk. Thank you, you too. I tell you, that's P PA. They always talk about Southern hospitality. PA got his own little hospitality going. It's a nice place. If you can see the thing branches off to all different types of trails. And don't forget the season they haven't even started yet. They have this filled with little fish. Uh, Slowpoke wife is still at the uh, parking area. By the time she get ready, I can go through a quarter of the park. This is the little bridge. Anytime you punch up this uh, campground YouTube channel, they always talk about the mill over here and this bridge. Come on, man, take a little shot. If you can see it, this will give you a little history of the bridge. Always wanted to walk to one of your little bridges. You're supposed to take you back in history. Look at this. This is something else. Back in the day, robbers used to hang out up there when you came through. They jumped down and rob you. <laughs> it ain't that big, but it is full of history. The beans are solid. And the trail continue on that way, but we're not gonna go that way. It's the old plaque. Love the sound of the water. We're gonna take a little quick tour up at the uh, mill. This is Snapshot. I'm glad you're able to come along. One of our first stops, visiting our state parks in PA. Uh, I kinda lost some Risa. <laughs> I think during the season you might actually be able to take little tours inside the mill This is something else. Oh, running mill. Water used to come through, turn the wheel, and that's how they powered it. You can see right here how it works. Okay, that's a quick little tour. It is cold out here. Temperature dropping down to the low 30s, and they even talking about snow. So I figure I rush out here, take a little video for you guys, because I went and filled up my propane tanks, and I think I'm gonna be sitting down inside the camper with tons of heat. These are the different trails.
Okay, I gotta go find some Risa. Talk to you later. I heard what Snapshot said about me, calling me Slowpoke. Does he forget that I watch these videos too? So I'm going to find out what he says about me. He'll just say, I don't care. It's the truth anyway. But little did he know, I was out there too. I just went the opposite way. And look at these pictures. See, I saw the same thing he saw. Can you believe this? It is actually snowing out here. Do you see these snowflakes falling? Well, this is the amphitheater. And here's a big uh, pavilion. You have uh, picnic tables, the playground. So this is a great place for family outings and group outings. This is what it looked like when you camp in the winter. The only problem, it is April 18th. Surprise, little snowstorm came through. It's clearing up a little bit. What do you say? I said it's the spring. It's a good thing we from Pennsylvania. We know how to dress. <clears throat> Not really. We just happen to have our coats. But yeah, it's beautiful up on this mountain. Nice. There wasn't that many people here today. A lot of them left out. But the season didn't really kick off. It's one of our beautiful state parks in PA. We're going to do our little walk. See you later.